You are watching the Canadian Public. Hello, I'm François Caron and welcome back to my dining room table. In this episode, it's a head-to-head -head shootout between two flash-based camcorders, the Canon Vixia HF200 and the Sanyo Zacti VPC TH1. The Canon HF200 is a 1080i high-definition camcorder which retails for $800 Canadian and can be found for as little as $700 Canadian if you look hard enough. The Sanyo TH1 is a 720p high-definition camcorder that retails for $340 Canadian and which I found on special for only $200 Canadian. So the question is, could an inexpensive high-definition camcorder be of sufficient quality to directly compete against a significantly more expensive high-definition camcorder? Well, let's find out. Both camcorders include modest capacity battery packs, power adapters, software bundles, multilingual instruction manuals, and an assortment of proprietary cables suitable for connecting the camcorders to television sets, display devices, and personal computers. The Canon camcorder even includes an infrared remote control. Neither package includes an HDMI cable. The Canon has a maximum video resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels at 60 frames per second interlaced, while the Sanyo has a maximum video resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels at 30 frames per second progressive, both recorded in the MPEG-4 AVC H.264 format. Both camcorders also have photo camera capabilities, but you'd be better off using a real camera. Both camcorders have stereo front-mounted microphones, flip and swivel LCD screens, proprietary USB and AV ports, photo flashes, and tripod screw mounts. The Canon also includes a headphone and microphone jack, and a video light. Along with their respective power buttons, both camcorders can also be turned off by simply closing the LCD screen. This feature can be disabled on the Canon camcorder, which is very useful for secret recordings. The battery performance specifications according to the manufacturers are up to 200 minutes running time for the Sanyo and 95 minutes running time for the Canon. With each camcorder set to their highest quality setting, the Sanyo can store up to 115 minutes of video material on an 8GB flash memory card, while the Canon can store up to 40 minutes of material on the same size card. The Sanyo is the lighter of the two camcorders, but the record button can be a bit hard to reach. The Canon's record button is better positioned, but the camcorder can feel a bit heavy due to the lack of a gripping area for your fingers. The in-camera controls include color balance, imaging modes, shutter speeds, exposure, and mini bullet point type features primarily designed to fill the columns of magazine product reviews. This flurry of useless features overloads the menu structures of the camcorders and makes searching for that one feature you absolutely need to change a frustrating experience. Anyway, enough of the technical details. Let's take these two camcorders out for a spin. The Canon HF200 camcorder produces incredibly sharp and reasonably balanced images with highly respectable contrast and color saturation throughout, with only the occasional exposure error which can easily be corrected by manually adjusting the camcorder's exposure setting. The Canon HF200 has a 15 times optical zoom along with your choice of 60 or 300 times digital zoom. The 15 times optical zoom strikes the right balance between strength and stability with no visible compromises in picture quality. Digital zooms should be avoided since they always seem to destroy the image. The Canon's instant autofocus technology successfully maintained proper focus on the subject matter 
even under difficult situations. The optical image stabilizer did a decent job of reducing camera shakes, producing a reasonably smooth and stable image. Let's move on to the Canon HF200's low light capabilities. The camcorder's automatic P mode doesn't appear to work properly, with the frame rate sometimes falling below 1 30th of a second, even when it wasn't necessary. But if you switch over to the manual settings, the picture quality improves dramatically. The camcorder even passed the flaming fountain test. The colors are about right, and the focus is being properly maintained. Now let's check out the Sanyo VPC TH1. Wait a minute here. Why does this look like standard definition? What's wrong with the colors? Everything looks fluorescent? Is the 30 times optical zoom producing a halo effect? What's the autofocus looking for? Nothing's changed. What's with the green skies? Uh, hold on, is the Sanyo properly configured? Uh, maximum resolution, maximum bitrate, auto settings, everything's okay. What's going on here? Yeah, hold on, maybe you'll do better in low light. Ah, oh, steep dub out, Mac. Oh, for crying out loud, what's the matter with this thing? I can't see anything out there. Man, it's like looking through Coke bottle glasses. This, what the heck was that white blob? Uh, uh, all right, I, I, I've seen enough. Just a second here. All right, now let's get back to the cannon. Ooh, oh yeah, that's much better. Oh yeah, nice, very nice. Can anyone see any rolling shutter issues anywhere? Yeah, cinema mode does produce a dark image, but I think I can fix that in post. Okay, now for the verdict. First, the Sanyo Zakti VPC TH1. 720p it ain't. It can barely compete against standard definition camcorders. Now the Canon HF200. Overall, it's a fantastic high-definition camcorder, with its only major shortcoming being its poor low-light capabilities under the P-mode. But if you dial in your own settings, the low-light capabilities of the camcorder will improve dramatically. But before purchasing the Canon HF200, consider this. The files generated by this camcorder will require a very powerful computer to properly play and process them. And if you want to attach an external microphone, such as one of the Rode video mics, you'll have to purchase a shoe mount adapter from DM Accessories. The small adapter should suit both microphones, unless you have fat fingers that won't fit under the Rode video mic, in which case you'll need to purchase the larger and more expensive shoe mount adapter. Well, that's pretty much it. The Sanyo wins the doorstop award, and the Canon might force you to upgrade your computer equipment but at least the Canon will produce beautiful high-quality video material, which makes it the winner of this shootout. If you head over to my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash the Canadian public, you'll find extended sample clips of both camcorders, including complete sound tests of both the built-in microphones and of the Rode video mics. That's it for this camcorder shootout. I'm François Caron, thank you for watching.